Are you excited? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about it has a playground and art. Okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they go to the, the playground across the street sometimes. They do like field trips. Field trips or something. Yeah. But oh, the door was unlocked today when I went. Yeah. When you yeah. came back to pick it up? Yeah. Yeah, this is bilingual and it's really close to our house, which is great. We can walk here if we needed to. Hola, gracias. Oh. The little courtyard is nice. Yeah, you know, they like the garden and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's my outdoor space out back. Yeah, I like that the kids move to different classrooms. Yeah, they're not set in the same spot every day. Mm -hmm. We're here to visit, and I said, I don't know. I just gave her name as age, and she's gonna get someone that. No, I don't think we're gonna do that. Okay. okay. It's good that they have it there that I'll explain everything. Even though you probably could definitely navigate it in Spanish. Yeah, it's just a nice It's just an English part of it. Okay. check for like diversity sometimes okay. if that's your concern you know it's just we, we didn't we didn't see that much we didn't see that much and we're kind of running into that a lot with the schools here because okay. they're just not used to it honestly. we're not that demographic yeah okay. Okay. 
So all the kids go there for English? And then they go to their grade? Yeah. That was a nice plus. The small toilets and small everything. Oh yeah. Let's yeah, see. stuff made for kids. Yeah, this school is not like Montessori or Waldorf or <laughs> any fancy anything, honestly. But um, again, that's not really why we're putting her in. It's more just for the Spanish and to be around other kids. I think we do enough teaching outside of this that we all need that. Yeah, and and I'm right now I'm just like very busy, so probably the like next six months. So I mean, we need her to like get some one-on-one and some engagement. And mm -hmm. um, we're not teaching her Spanish, so this this is a really good time to do that. Yeah, I'm trying. It's just it's it's not as you learn more when you're just in it. I think. Mm -hmm. This is where they, they break down all the prices and stuff. And you were saying that it's cheaper this month because yeah. they do Black Friday for the month. Right? Yeah, Boy and Fame is what it's called. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, here, um, she's telling me that um, for preschool two, the inscription fee would be um, 3500 during the entire month of November because okay. um, I don't know um, if you've heard here in Mexico they do what they do in the U.S. with the Black Friday uh, but they call it when mm -hmm. here so yeah. they're having they're respecting um, this, this how much does that come up to? um a little less than $200 oh, okay. that's not bad no they do it like and actually it might be 200 yeah. Black Friday just that in the U.S. it's like they, but here they do start today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But here at the school, we're doing it the entire month. Oh, 
So you could pay multiple months? Or? I don't know. She was just saying we wouldn't have to pay. We pay the inscription fees and only part of November since it's the end of November. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's another big thing too is um right? okay. and you will be like um, two yeah, copies of her yeah. vaccination scheme if she has any. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, and this is it because like you know so they don't really if you, if you have vaccinations cool if you if you don't yeah cool. <laughs> They're not really tripping about it. That's right? good too. Yeah, just respect my choice. And you mm -hmm. need to fill out the registration form. What is that? You just put her name, her address, um, your names, mm -hmm. your telephone numbers, and the pediatrician would see. So, should in case we have an emergency or something, mm -hmm. and um, you would also um, write who do we um, call if we have. I really do like that they have like an insurance policy out with the kids, mm -hmm. just to make sure that they're covered, even if the parents don't have it. Mm -hmm. All right, can you go over so we usually would call you and ask you, um, inform you most of all, um, well, she has fever, or mm -hmm. can she take such medicine? Because we had um, a first aid kit here, and okay. so we would ask before we ever apply, like maybe for fever or stuff like that. Okay. And um, on that form too, you would write if she's allergic to something. I actually like that they have all these things in place. Yeah. You know, it's a lot, but I think it's necessary. And here we have um, the uniforms. Today they came with white shirts. Yes, I don't know how to about the uniforms. Yeah, I don't know how to about the uniforms. For the Mexican Revolution. Mm -hmm. And so they came to How do you feel about the uniforms? Mm -hmm. They have sports on Wednesday. I wish I had them. They have sports on Wednesday. Do you want to wear the uniforms? Yeah, I would. I want to wear it. Ah, oh, but yeah, that was. And then we have the blue uniform, which um, the other days that she does. We have yoga on Monday. Uh -huh. Okay from 8 to 9 and we have sports on Wednesday. So those two days she would use the um, sports uniform and the other two days she uniform. would use the blue uniform. Oh and wow, yeah, I didn't realize that. In Mexico, mm -hmm. that yes, for the, um, I think those are like 500 um, each, I think. Explaining about oh. the day that I took. Which is about $30 per uniform. Okay. 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 These, these are yeah. like our um, social media, right? You can um, follow us here. 
Yeah, she wears the blue ones. Sometimes the blue ones. I've only seen the white ones. Okay. Or like special occasions, I set them in the white ones. Because we just don't upload just like that. We ask for the, uh, the, the parents' permission first. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want, you can take this. This okay. is the um, cell number I told you. Uh -huh. um, for WhatsApp, you can send a WhatsApp to this number, and this is like the um, the other phone number, the um, fixed one. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, we were talking about the books, um, like what kind of stuff they be doing. Oh, yeah, they yeah. order a lot, like more, just in case somebody else comes in. So and I was telling, yeah, like I do want to see the material. Cool, so. Um, so the stuff she gets um, and she sends up. Um, yeah, but it's not the material, so. Um, uh, okay. um, we usually um, use this. Um, it's, for, it's for the entire week. Lunes is Monday to Friday, and we usually put the date. Uh -huh. So on Monday, the Spanish teacher will write here what's the homework. Tuesday, it's the English teacher. Wednesday, the Spanish teacher. Thursday, the um, English teacher, and if we have some message for you or something, we usually can um, write it here. Mm -hmm. But if it's like something very important, like maybe she was feeling ill, we don't write it here, we're gonna call her right. direct. Okay, or if it's something that occurred during the day here that we want to inform you, we don't usually do it here because it's very difficult to be explaining. Like space, Communication, I think, is yeah. big. Like, how well they communicate with you. I've talked to some moms where they don't communicate very well with the parents and things oh, yeah. like the last minute, or it's just kind of hectic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like documentation of what's there. They would use one okay. for Spanish mm -hmm. and one for English, and this one would be like for math. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. Apart from this, um, they would um, give you two pencil cases because one is like for the Spanish class and the other is for the English you because they're not the same class. You want mm -hmm. that apron? That's why they usually yeah. have um, two of these and two of these aprons for when they do like arts and crafts. Okay. And this is the um, the list here, the information. You can have this. Um, it's yours. These oh, are yeah. what is English that? books. Mm -hmm. and the, um, um, books we need books. to buy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Used for Spanish, math, and the values book that I told you about. Okay, awesome. That's it. Becky, do you have any more questions? Do you have any doubts? Doubts. Yeah. Or any questions? Yeah. Hmm. We also have some cameras that we're looking at, but yeah. they are like for in play time. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do they have any, um, like a snack time or just go on? No, it would only be at that time. Oh, it's a really early lunch, too. It's like 10, 10 to 10. Yeah. yeah. Then it's then probably like she's not so hungry. The and then also, yeah. she can, well, she can we drink a water bottle and it will, she finishes the diet. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because we have water here. Okay. What we usually do to motivate them is that if they are... Yeah, it's about discipline. It's super important to, to question the discipline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speakers like happy face. Mm -hmm. They have like happy face or a star and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or we use like um, in the classroom they have like, you know, the colors like from the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. And we have their names and so if they behave well, they yeah. should be like on the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. um, and if they were like more yeah. or less, they were like on the yellow. And I mean, I'm not, you know. It's not bad, it's not great, it's just something. I'm glad she's going to be able to see it and then I can just tell her that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like with this, it's more just her getting in a new environment and other people's rules and then we'll be able to talk about it at home and how we feel about it. Yeah. So she can experience our world and then what maybe other people choose to do. Yeah. yeah. Look, they have the shovels and you want to go see it? Nina loves those things. She grabs one every single time. A what? 
You grabbed one this morning. It no, you grabbed one and you said some kid took it from me. Oh, one of those in my hand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Diversity is always going to be kind of an issue. Even in the states, it's probably still going to be an issue. I like that they did have someone exactly. on hand who, mm -hmm. you know, could walk us through everything. And I did want to see the English teacher possibly having someone there just in case Nina doesn't understand what's going on. Just having someone who can explain those things to her is important. I liked it. I think it was, I think I could see myself taking Nina there. It's close. They said we could do a trial. So I want to do that first and then we'll see how it goes but i'm you know i'm personally very skeptical of school but i do want her to learn spanish that's really the only thing i don't want her to kind of be indoctrinated into like the concept that this is the only way you can learn and there's just some harmful things that come with school mm -hmm. just a little bit i think bit as much as she's in school we're still going to keep doing the homeschool stuff at home have like absolutely protection yeah. from anything at this point so it's more than likely going to be something we at least try out yeah, how do you feel about the school after going for a few days? You still like it? Yeah, I still like it. I want to do the gardening thing. Yeah, we'll probably do that someday. You like the crafts that you do there? Yeah, I wish I could do it. <laughs> you should, I know, we got to send you for a full day now. I wish I could be a baby again. And, sure. then, and, then, I could, and then I could play off. All those toys. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's in the baby room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be sure to like really think of the criteria that you have set out for school. There's so many schools out here. I'm sure you can find whatever it is that you're looking for. We're trying to be a bit more open and just specific to wanting her to learn Spanish. I don't want her to really learn about much else. She will get those things, but oh, yes. the biggest thing is just having interaction with um, the Spanish speaking community as well as just being able to navigate and have those experiences, especially while me and Becca are a little bit more busy. Uh, so yeah, there are other kids. Even before we had Julian, I think she was just kind of getting sick of being the only kid and being yeah. around so many adults all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so we'll still continue to give updates and yeah. Let us know if you have any questions, anything that you might want it to ask, we'll, you know, go back and ask or... Yeah, there's so many schools here. Even if we choose a school for her, we'll probably try to do tours of other things just to see what else is out there and just share what the possibilities are for your kids here if you're thinking of putting them in school in Merida. 
There's a lot, a lot of different options, like methodology-wise, but also price range, um, yeah. location. There's, there's so many, so many things. So, um, yeah, there's definitely some commonalities with them. Like every school here, you usually pay the inscription fee, which is the yearly fee, and then you have a monthly fee, and then the additional ones, like you saw, the uniform, insurance, and any books and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember all schools requiring so much paperwork, like the birth certificate and the CURP and the vaccination stuff. Yeah. Um, they might have, like maybe we just didn't get far enough in the process. Um, but they also seem pretty flexible about it because Nina doesn't have a CURP, um, she doesn't have a vaccination record, and it doesn't seem like it'll be an issue. The timing of school all seems pretty similar, like yeah. 8 to 1, and then that little after, um, after school. A uh, time where you can pay extra and get the, the I think they call it daycare basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah or like after school stuff. Some have after school specific activities, like they'll have a sport or dance or something, and some I think it's just more free play. There's bilingual and then there's not bilingual, so that's also something to choose. But there's a good amount of bilingual schools. But I think it, I think the biggest part is just being able to know what it is you want. Because I did mm -hmm. meet some parents, they were like Montessori and all this stuff, they didn't want that. Uh -huh. And I met some parents who are like, we don't want really any structure. Yeah. You know, you could go so far as to like just having, like, you know, they have uh, schools with the farm. Where you can yeah. just like learn to take care of animals. Yeah, you not really like formal daycare. learning, like very child-led, mm -hmm. very just um, learn through play things like that, which um, I definitely like that methodology as well. We just haven't found like a great fit for that with us, like yeah. location price wise. But I think we'll just do that at home with her, like learn through the lay. And... Or you could choose multiple things if you really feel like, you know, because we, you could also find the homeschooling pod that mm -hmm. you want to join as well. Maybe you do three days out the week at this school, maybe two in the, at the homeschool pod. Mm -hmm. So. Just knowing there's many different ways you can go about figuring out like the way you want to do education for your children. Yeah, there's tons and tons of options. The best thing I really like about school here is I don't have to worry so much about somebody coming in and shooting up the kids. <laughs> like yeah. the, the safety, the violence aspect, it just feels like way more at peace here. Yes, obviously there's always a chance that something could happen, but it's greatly, greatly, greatly reduced, reduced outside yeah. the U.S. Greatly, greatly reduced. And then especially not even just in Mexico, but in Merida, it's like even, so, even, even more safer. So, so yeah. it just, that feels good because she would, it would not, would not be in even, school. In no, it would, yeah. it's not even an option. It's not it even an option. Not, yeah, so. Um, good place to end the video on mm -hmm. right there, though. If you do like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Let us know anything that you may want to cover in a video or in future videos. You have a nice day.